Good evening, and welcome back to my channel. So, here is the newest update on where I am with the Halatha Resistance Fighter. So, a little bit of history. Um, again, you know, I've mentioned this in the blog earlier, but you know, I was looking at the the precursor to the Viper type fighters, right, and wanted to make one and so forth. And I'd seen some some other you know, takes on this, on this style. And, uh, you know, they were called the, the Caprica Air Fighter, and everybody's all about Caprica and so forth. And I got to thinking, because I'm a fluff type guy, um, I really liked the idea of a little bit of history, like the Toron Civil War, which gave rise to the Halata. So I figured, all right, great. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, base, base this design and call it the, uh, one of the fighters used by the Halasa resistance during the Tauran Civil War, uh, for for several reasons. You know, one of the one of which being it's different. You know, it's something cool and, and unique and, and not necessarily what we uh, you, you see, um, you know, or, or talk about or hear about much, um, other than you know those few like the three geeks that actually are interested in. Uh, Caprica and, and the pre Cylon history, that kind of thing. Um, and you know, it, it you know as I extend out the 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 build around, you know, pretty much every time I build something, there's there's some sort of story behind it, right? So you know, there's <coughs> Starbucks fighter. There will be, you know, when I do the the uh, the, the Mark II that I just showed, eventually that'll be Huskers. Um, you know, there's there's a history behind pretty much everything I build, so this this will have a history. You know, this has, you know, what's the story behind this? Well, this is a resistance fighter, which will have much more of, you know, a Star Wars X-wing look um, when it comes to weathering and, and use and so forth. So it'll follow the uh, the design concepts of you know you know of a of a jet fighter. But it won't necessarily be as clean, sharp, and, and so forth as, you know, say some of our, our, you know, U.S. jet fighters. Although it'll still have that same kind of feel. Anyway, with that said, where am I? This is how far I've gotten. I've pretty much worked on the engine cluster and gotten that work done. Well, not done, but pretty well where I wanted it to be. Um, so as I posted in the blog and in some of the pictures before, I've gone we shortened the the fuselage down trim this up and in the back we dropped um, one of we dropped a, another f4 engine here so I have that you know triple engine look that's unique that's typical of a, of a Viper um, it does have the top Top one extending back a little further. I, I looked at the at cutting it off here and having this one, you know, come out the same same place. But the contours, you know, I really I really like this contour here and the way these contours worked. And I thought that worked better for the overall look of the of the design for the back. You know, so we have this kind of look. And with around here. I'll put some, you know, greeblies or something. Um, I thought about putting a shroud just over the top to sort of shroud that a little, but I think I'll just put greeblies here and then have the, the upper fin extend back. I'm not, still don't know if I'm going to do one or two. Um, I'm kind of still leaning toward the two, but we'll see. So other stuff that we've done, you know, I've got that done. I've got the contours laid out here got most of the putting done, but as I feel it, it's still a little bit rough, so I'm sure I've got to go back and put a few more layers of putty in here, smooth that down. Um, I'll hit it with primer and, and get that feel uh, before I go too much farther so I can get this contour clean and, and following the shape of the of the overall you know, curve of the engine. Um, got the wings set, obviously, so as you can tell, I flipped them. Uh, so they're now sweeping forward. I uh, cut off the ailerons. You know, I probably cut off about maybe three quarters of an inch to the wing from the F4. Um, cut it down and then put in sprue. 
and then you know sanded and shaped the sprue to give it more of that you know leading edge type thing and yeah i know the back end has leading edge too and it's not aerodynamic um but i'm probably not going to lose sleep over that part um i may sand this down a bit more to give that some more you know there's there's plenty of plastic at that point so i may just contour this a bit to do that um we'll see we'll see if the mood strikes me um so the aero engineers and the rivet counters will you know can go ahead and have the conniptions about the it, it's not a real airfoil and yeah it's not but you know it's a hollow thought fighter so that's not a what <laughs> so whoops sorry guys I apologize for that so what else uh, i've got the root the root done i thought about you know how i wanted to shape it in but i think the swept forward gum's good the bend of the f4 wing it ends up going flat right there so i kind of like that look to it it gives a you know it's not as steep an angle as you know say the vipers are it's more of a wing um but with the it gave a little bit and i like you know this was easy it was pretty simple to get a, a bit of an angle and then clamp this down to set up with the you know crap ton of green stuff up there i do intend to use the mount points for the landing gear and while i'm underneath here this is the bottom of the Spitfire. So the Spitfire uh, fuselage comes back here. And this is the bottom of it. Um, Spitfire has, you know, obviously forward wing mounted uh, um, landing gear. So we had to put something in there. So that is the landing gear for this. And this needs to be cleaned up and puttied and, you know, spiffed up. But the way this will sit is this piece is going to come back to about here. Right. Let me get it to where I can actually see. Here we go. So that's going to come back to about here. So we'll have landing gear here, here, and there. Um, there's a lot of weight back here, so I'm going to put some extra weight in the nose to make sure it's leaning forward. Uh, but that's where the landing gear will be. So I'll, I intend to use the F4 landing gear there and the F4 nose landing gear here yeah, and this ends up being if we look at this overall well, it comes about there the overall length here is about the same length as the viper mark ii in 136 second scale so it ends up being about the same um, so what else have we got done here the tail end here this needs to be cleaned up uh, the holes here need to be sealed. The green stuff, this arc coming off of the the thruster belt or the thruster mounts, um, these are both evened up now. Uh, so I just need to clean this up from the top here and finish these contours. I'm not going to touch the bottom yet until I get the nose put on because what's going to end up, you know, this part is narrow there, so that needs to be putty, but then. I know that this part comes back here, so until I get the actual nose put on the whole ship, um, there's no point in doing all this putty work until I know how much and where all this putty is going to go. Um, I may cut this back, I don't know, I, I kind of like the way this flows back here, and then just, you know, just feather this down into this. Um, Kind of keep a nice organic look. It's not one you're going to see a lot when it's you know sitting and landing here, but you know, hey, it'll be there. Um, so this the on my blog, um, I'll have I will go ahead and I'll put a slideshow after this of some of the cutting and the steps and where I've gone um, up to this point on the engine con the engine uh, cluster. Um, in what all I've managed to get ready for this. So this is the first part, or actually the, the first really update on where and how this is going. I can already feel this. These still need to be sanded down a bit more um, to get a better airfoil in there. But you can see where I flattened it out and you know where you can kind of get a feel for where I'm going with this. Um, it's an interesting ride so far. Uh, I'm really enjoying this, and uh, I hope you uh, are enjoying watching the journey with me, and 
hey, if this inspires any of y'all to give a hand for it, hey, if I can do it, pretty much anybody can. Um, so I hope some of the techniques I'm using, uh, you know, it's pretty straightforward. You know, it's just um, gluing things up, using green stuff as as a support, um, and then you know, just putty is a filler and it's sand. It's a lot of you know, putty, sand, putty, sand, putty, sand. That's where I am right now. So, again, uh, if this inspires any of y'all, I hope this, it, it does. And uh, you enjoy the trip, so trip along with me as I work on this. So, thank you very much for watching, and stay tuned later for the next installment as I move on toward the the front half of the ship. Thank you.